if you've been dreaming of building a web app and your mind is basically blank. That's normal. It's not a problem. Today, we're going to come up with an idea for a web app that I'm going to be building over the next 14 days. I'm just going to give myself one hour to come up with an idea to show that it doesn't have to be a hurdle that stops you from beginning your next project. This is the first part of a series that I call the 14 day freedom challenge. Maybe it sounds over dramatic, but I believe if you can build a useful web app in just 14 days, that can potentially change your life and give you freedom from ever having to do a nine to five job again. So if you want to follow along and learn how to do the first step of building a web app, coming up with an idea, let's set that 60 minute timer and get started. One hour, starting now. Thanks Alexa. Anytime. So this is a three-step process. There are two kinds of ideas. There are ideas you've had in the past that I've got on my laptop over there and ideas that you can generate right now. I want to make sure I haven't missed any ideas that are floating around in my head. So for this first step of generating ideas, I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to come up with 15 ideas. And however bad the idea is that comes into my head, I'm just going to write it down because I believe that the bad ideas lead to the good ones. Alexa, 15 minute timer. Rather than thinking of a web app idea is to think of problems that I've been facing that I could solve with software. Annoying things that I've experienced in my life. I've just got to start it off with a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Um, I find it annoying in VS Code that there's no shortcut to maximize the terminal. Yes, I've started. I find it annoying that if you decide to use one JavaScript framework, you can't easily switch to another. Two. I find it annoying that it's not that easy for developers who aren't working in a job to connect with other developers. I find it annoying that there's no easy way to find developers to help you work on your project. Like I work on your project, you work on my project. I find it annoying that if I use my keyboard too much, I get pain in my wrists. 11. Alexa, stop. 15 minutes, we've got 11 ideas. Let's add another five minutes to see if we can get any final ones that might be the hidden gems. I find it annoying that A-B testing isn't just built into all the JavaScript frameworks. 14. Alexa, stop. I'm doing 15. I'm more to get out. So we've come up with 15 ideas, some of which are probably terrible, some of which might be decent. Maybe one of them's, you know, a golden nugget. That was step one. Let's go and do step two. Step two is what I call filter. Taking these 15 ideas, filtering them through a few questions to make sure that these ideas are actually valid. There are three questions I have. Am I excited to build this thing? Can I build this within the 14 days? And the third thing, could this be genuinely valuable to the developers that I might want to introduce this project to? Which at the moment is basically you on YouTube. Let's sort these 15 into piles, throw away and yeah, maybe it's an idea. I'm pretty sure you can write a key binding in VS Code to do that. It's not valuable enough. I'm going to discard it. Pain from too much development. Could be some kind of productivity app. Yeah, it could be an idea. I missed a fourth point, which is, can I actually think of a way to solve this problem? Building software outside of a job is seen as strange. I can't really think of a way to solve that. Discard that. It's not easy for me to add links to new web apps from my existing web apps. Yeah, okay, it could solve that. It's not that easy to help out other developers. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I could imagine some, some app that solves that. Discard. Okay, we've got seven ideas. They passed our filter step. What I'm going to do now, write these ideas alongside my existing ideas, and then we'll get on to step three. Step three is sort. I'm going to run through all these ideas and sort them based on similar criteria to what I said before. We've got seven ideas here. I've got 13 existing ideas as well. And by sorting them, then it should be as simple as choosing one of the top ones. And then we've got an idea for this web app. 
This is not as easy as I thought it might be, to be honest. I'm trying to pick ideas that are valuable to me, but also might be valuable to someone else. This one here, I feel like it's only a problem that I have. Probably no one else in the world has it. I don't know if I could find anyone that would want to actually buy this product. This one is only for people that upload software development related videos to YouTube. And I don't really know many of those people. Obviously, at the end of step three, you should have one single idea. If you pick an idea that doesn't work out, it doesn't really matter because you will have learned a ton anyway through building this idea into a web app. And then you can just move on to the next one. Oh, we're out of time. 60 minutes. I've got my top three ideas. I'm going to write a YouTube community post so I can ask the audience to help me pick the best. If you want to see what idea I end up choosing, then come back tomorrow when we're going to take that idea and figure out what features we need in order to turn that into reality that I can deliver in just the 13 days we've got remaining. See you in the next one. There she is.